Um, this is a story that we wanted to get into before. This is um, Sophia Stewart. Sophia Stewart. Uh, they say self-proclaimed mother of the Matrix, but we've been checking out this case for a while, and so many things came up with that, you know, in the ministry that we didn't have the opportunity or take the opportunity to really bring the story to you. And you might have heard about this already before. Just look up her name in Matrix, and you'll come up to you'll come up with a lot of different pages and sites, some her own, others, others um, which try to debunk her claims. But her claims are sound and valid. So this is at this particular site right here, the hotness. Right, we like the graphic here, you know, of uh, Sophia Stewart and the Matrix. And this is a particular article right here. You can check this out. And uh, you know where he begins off that that self-proclaimed mother of the Matrix. Um, she is the woman who claims that the Terminator and the Matrix were both of her ideas, respectively, and that they were stolen by um, James Cameron and the Wachowski brothers. Now, some say that they have stumbled upon her court case and that she did not show up and they were flabbergasted and here's like so-called official court record, such and such. And so we go through some of the information here on this particular page. She has a book. There's a book out there. She has a Facebook page. And she says that, um, quote, I am the true source of the Matrix and Terminator. I won both cases. The third eye book will be available in three weeks or less. She continues, I am the revelation of the truth soaring at light speed within the elegant resonance of stillness. This is my abundant recourse. Um, someone named Kyle responds, no, ma'am. You don't know legal copyright, you lost your case, you may have filed an appeal, but until that goes through, you hold no legal right over the matrix or terminator. Then uh, Sister Sophia, she goes ballistic. She says, I am the oracle, whether anyone wants to believe it or not. I am a prophetess. Some will believe and some will not. I won because I am the creator, and I am the only one that holds the legal copyright to the matrix and terminator, whether or not the court system acknowledges it. I will make Matrix 4. I am here to share my vision with those that have taken the red pill. If you choose to take the blue pill, be my guest, go back to sleep. Now, the author of this page concludes and closes that girlfriend can spit some convincing fire, but from the sounds of things, I think she may have taken both the red and the blue pill. What do you think? Do you believe? And so they ask a couple other people here, you know, like, what do they think? You know, this sister here says that she, Christina Bell, she believes. Some say she sounds like another, so forth and so on. But down here, there's Lizzie who said some very interesting things. She said, some of you guys just don't get it. The facts are Sophia won, and it's not for the courts to decide as they are out of whack, as well as out of jurisdiction, too. But for the average man on the street to do so, she has presented her case in the book and copies of copyright registrations, as will be requested in a working court. And this particular person also bears witness that they, too, you know, have had um, their own works infringed upon, so forth, and uh, so on. And um, uh, it's very interesting. Black civil rights uh, can be violated by the judge in Britain. It is Section uh, 19C of the Race Relations Amendment Act. So they can do this. This is their system. This is their matrix. We have overcome, though, be not sad or fearful. Shall I go on? Then there is the discovery that the British courts aren't even valid due to the 1700 Settlement Act and the Pope. And that's a long story. And concluding, Miss or Ms. Stewart won. We the people ruled righteously and not just because she is black, but because the evidence presented shows it to be her work true. So this is just a, a update, and I want you all to do your own um, homework and study 
on this, and even we want to get her book as well. And we have some to share concerning the matrix and the the link between Morpheus, the practicus hand sign between the 